Welcome back. Today we're going to take a tour of the house and uh, show you where we're at. So we are upstairs in the loft, sort of the second floor. Uh, we have all of the drywall in. Uh, we have a textured ceiling, very lightly textured. Um, all over the house, they did a great job with that. It's really consistent. Uh, my wife, Justine, had all last week off, so she came in and helped me paint the house. I had primed it last week, so primed all the walls, and then I went down and picked up several colors. Um, this is the bedroom. Looking out over the ridge. Yeah, looks really nice. Pretty happy. I uh, used a paint sprayer to spray the primer and most of the color. We did uh, brush and roll a couple of small rooms because it wasn't worth setting up the paint sprayer uh, to do that. But I've got to say, um, the paint sprayer was super efficient. Um, it was really fast. Um, it put down a really even coat. Uh, I went with a, uh, it's called the Magnus Power Project Plus, I think, and um, it was about $300, and it'll go through five gallons of paint in half an hour if you're ready to spray it. Uh, so, like, like I said, it's just super efficient. I tried using paint shields on the ceiling uh, so that I could spray the walls uh, without having to cut in, and I did a pretty good job. Um, there is some overspray on some of the ceilings in some places that I'll have to go back and fix. But um, by and large, I think the uh, extra effort of that is worth the, um, benefit of the benefit of the sprayer. Still have to build the walk-in shower, so that, that'll be coming soon. This is the master bath, uh, painted up under the stairs here. Don't have any lights in the closet, but it's painted as well. Uh, this is our study. Uh, and den, I guess. Uh, Justine's office space will be over here, and then we'll have you know a couch and probably a television, and it'll double as like a second den or a, a guest room uh, while we're uh, building out the basement once we live here. Uh, it's kind of a view from the deck, or what will be uh, the deck once we get moved in and get that going. Um, the HVAC is in. You may have seen that uh, in. The upstairs, we have a mini split unit on the second floor um, just for improved airflow as opposed to trying to vent it from the air handler in the basement. So there's actually two units that are running the house. Went with more of a blue here in the living room area. Um, we also have our kitchen cabinets that have just gotten delivered. Uh, so those will be going in in the next three or four weeks, maybe. Uh, first thing is the floors uh, have to get put down first. And I'm going to go pick those up tomorrow. Uh, and also I'm picking up the white oak shiplap that is going to make up this wall. So everything is drywalled except this wall. And then that's going to be all wood. Um, just as a nice accent wall looking out into the woods. I uh, went with more of a terracotta color in the uh, kitchen and the entryway. Uh, we're just leaving that closet white since it's going to be, the door is going to be closed all of the time. Uh, there is a, an example of overspray uh, from the paint sprayer, but it'll take, you know, a minute with a roller to come back and touch that up. Got a couple of spots like that here and there. There's also one over here, I realized it's kind of difficult to use a paint shield at a place where there's corners. Um, so that's just something uh, you learn along the way. Um, but the HVAC has been installed and it's working great. Um, when we turned it on, it was 80% humidity. It's been fluctuating between like 60 and 65 right now. But we've put you know 30 gallons of paint in here. Uh, in the last week, so it'll probably still take another week for it to get down to around the 50% mark, which is kind of what we're shooting for. And you can see the entryway here. 
the electricians are coming back next week to put in all the lights and the switches and the outlets and things like that. And then it'll just be um, floors, cabinets. I need to do the tiling in the bathroom. So we picked up the tile for the two bathrooms that are getting tile. This is gonna be the guest bath and we're just gonna run the hardwood into there for the guest bath, but we'll be tiling the other two. And um, you know, one step at a time and we're getting closer and closer. I think we're still very much on target for our move-in date sometime in the next couple of months. Uh, and then one thing maybe outside to show, if you remember our berm that we dug into, now we have it shored up. So we put uh, landscape fabric uh, along the edge of the entire berm and brought in what is called channel line. Uh, it literally lines channels or lines hills. Uh, it's, you know, it's averages uh, probably volleyball sized uh, pieces of gravel um, and it'll just stay there forever um, and it won't allow the hill to erode in heavy rains. Um, and then at the bottom here, we actually dug, um, you can't really tell because of the way the rock is, but we dug a trench uh, um, that runs, I don't know, a foot and a half deep, two, not quite two feet, yeah, about a foot, foot and a half. Uh, and then that uh, runs out into our swale that goes down into the woods. We also got a couple of fence posts up here and then we have the, all of the rest of the steel fence posts in the back, the T-posts. You can see those. Um, so I need to put up a few more wooden fence posts here on the front. And then we'll be able to lay all of that fencing over there around... The, the entire back of the house, and this will just serve as a, a fence for the dogs primarily. I mean, if it weren't for the dogs, we wouldn't even need it. Um, but yeah, a lot of things going on. Things are going well, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and this is where I'm at. See you next time.